let's make a graph of the um, data set for the global indicators population and grain production activity. So let's select the data set that we would like to graph. And let's choose insert chart. Once again, for the type of data that we have, um, I would like for you to use the scatter plot. So let's go down to the scatter chart. And you can see that we have two data sets. Um, there's only one vertical axis. And in this case, um, it is the units for the per capita grain production. But we also need to have a vertical axis for the global population. So in this particular case, we need to add a second um, vertical axis to properly show our uh, data, the units for the data. So you can go and click on either the, the data for the grain or the data for the human population and then choose which axis you would like for that to be on. So I'm going to select the grain production data and I would like for that to be on the right axis. So now you can see that on the right hand side you have the units um, for the grain production and then on the left hand side you have the units for the global population. Now for this graph we need to be sure that we have our axes labeled appropriately and that we also um, show our trend lines. So the first thing I'd like to do is I would like to change the range of values for the uh, grain production on the axis on the right. And so let's go to vertical axis. Oh, the right vertical axis. So we have two selections. Let's go to the right vertical axis. And it gives us a minimum value and a maximum value. And so I would like to put on that for my minimum value just to see the, the trend a little bit, a little bit more detail. I'm going to say 225. And I like that range there up to 350. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, for the global population, I'm just going to leave that as the same. Um, for my labeling of my axes, let's go up in our, in our menu, and it says Chart and Axis Titles. So let's click on that. And the title, I think the title looks okay. Um, I would like to switch the horizontal axis title. Um, looks fine. That's uh, time in years, so I think that is appropriate. Uh, the vertical axis title, this one will be the left-hand side. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to put in there the global population, and we always include the units as well. And so I'm going to put billions. And we know that's billions of people. And I want to, just to make it easier to uh, make the connection between the data points and uh, the axes, I'm going to make that color for that. I'm going to choose the theme color, the blue that they have for the theme. Okay. And then uh, let's do the same thing for the right axis. And the right axis title, that's going to be the per capita grain production. And that is in kilograms. And in the same way, I would like to make this one the red from the theme. And so now we can see that we have the left-hand axis corresponds with the blue dots and the right-hand axis corresponds to the red dots. Okay, and now at this point, you might want to um, attempt to come up with your trend lines on your own but I'm gonna go ahead and work on that here now. 
But if you'd like to attempt it on your own first, go ahead and pause this video and give it a shot. And then you can check back and see um, what I came up with. Okay, so um, if you need assistance, let's go ahead and work with our, let's, let's work with the global population first. Let's go down to the trend lines. And remember, we like to use the R squared value to show, um, you know, which one seems to fit the line the best. So we see for linear, 0 0.995, exponential, it's less than that, so it doesn't fit as well. Polynomials, nearly one, it's pretty good. Logarithmic, a little bit less than that. Power series. So in this one, uh, the polynomial has the best fit. So that's the trend line that I will use for that. And now let's switch to the per capita grain production. And that data, this is gonna be a little interesting here. Let's see what we get. Uh, trend line, okay. And let's go ahead and show the R squared value once again. And you can see this is quite different from what we had with the global population. But remember, I'm not comparing the R square value for the per capita grain production with the global population. I'm comparing the R squared values for different um, trend curves or lines for um, that set of data. So the linear is around 0 0.549. Let's see how exponential fits. Not really much of a change. Polynomial, 0.754, so that's a little better. That's closer to one. Logarithmic, now still around the 0.5, and power, 0.57. So uh, from those possibilities there, it looks like the polynomial fits um, the grain production graph the best with the value of 0 0.754. Okay, so at this point, uh, you have your graph. All of your axes have been labeled appropriately, and you also have a key that is uh, describing the different colors that are seen within the graph. So this is your graph, and just be sure that um, at this point, since you're finished, that you check with the instructor to have them come and uh, look over your graph and check it off their list.